Hi all, today I'm going to show you a recipe for egg pulao or egg biryani as you call it. Um, so here I'm boiling the eggs. You can take as many as you need. And then I chopped up a few onions and I'm frying them. So you have to uh, fry them until golden brown just like the ones you make it for the biryani. And then uh, these are some of the whole spices. I have also chopped up some uh, onions and mint leaves and uh, coriander. Um, so our fried onions are ready. Uh, here I'm showing you the recipe in the instant pot. So take two tablespoons of oil and then add the whole spices and fry them for like one minute. Um, here if you see I have uh, kept my instant pot in sauté mode. And our whole spices are fried. So here I'm adding the onions and uh, chopped up mint leaves and coriander leaves. And fry them until they turn brown. Here I'm adding one teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon garam masala. 1 teaspoon jeera powder and 1 teaspoon dhania powder and 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste give it a mix and make sure it gets fried well and here i have soaked around 2.5 cups of basmati rice so the rice to water ratio is 1 is to 1.5 here i'm adding some chili powder and mix it well and add some yogurt or curd to make a little gravy and mix it well so here i've peeled the uh, boiled eggs and then uh, putting some slits on it just uh, for it to absorb the gravy a little yeah so here in a pan i'm taking a little bit of oil along with salt and chili powder we're going to fry the eggs uh, until it turns a little crispy on the outside the rice to the gravy that we have just prepared in the instant pot and then adding uh, the water and in the ratio of 1 is to 1.5 rice to water and then our eggs are sauteed well now I'm adding the uh, sauteed eggs into the instant pot um, and then the fried onions and then um, on the top layer add some chopped up coriander leaves and then close the instant pot and pressure cook it for 10 minutes see you after 10 minutes so the 10 minutes is up and then you can release the pressure after waiting for 10 more minutes and now let's check mm smells yummy and the rice is also fluffy you can have this with some chopped onions on the side um, also you can have it with raita which will taste excellent so hope you like this simple recipe which can be made um, very quickly for lunch and for dinner. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.